Hi, this is Haley. I just want to say congratulations to all of you who just graduated. I'm a graduate. I graduated this year and I couldn't have graduation as well as virtual one. 2020 has been a tough year for all of us. Even celebration has become a luxury thing, so we tend to forget things we should deserve. Looking back all the three or four years in university, I feel like we did a lot of things. All that hard work essay exams group work presentation and now in december 2020 one is coming so i just hope you guys have a little moment just look back the memories when you are at university or school and just prepare for new year i believe today's makeup look is just universal it's gonna suit all of you guys so i'm so excited to share this makeup look with you guys so let's get started so before I start doing my makeup, I'm just gonna tell you guys what I'm gonna focus on today. First, I'm gonna focus on looking natural. Even though this makeup is for photography, I still want to look myself, not like different persons. So I'm gonna focus on enhancing my features rather than covering them or changing them. Second, I want to make my look classic. This is a graduation picture, so if I imagine myself looking this picture in the next 5 or 10 years, I don't want to regret from anything. So I just want to keep it really classic, nothing really trendy. So with that in mind, let's jump into makeup. The most important thing about doing base makeup for today is using product with right shade and matte finish. If there's any light reflecting particles in your foundation or concealer, it can give you undesirable glow or shine. So all of the products I'm using today have matte finish but if you want to use like brow cleaning concealer under eye area you can still use that. So I'm gonna start off with this corrector. This is correction concentrate in brightening peach. To cancel out the darkness on my face, color correcting is the most effective way rather than using a lot of amount of concealer or foundation. So I'm just going to apply this under my eyes to brighten them. I assume that many of you guys will take a picture at home under natural light or sunlight. So I think it would be better to use light and medium coverage foundation rather than full coverage foundation. Because if you wear heavy foundation or high coverage foundation a lot, it's going to look unnatural and could be cakey. So I want to keep my look natural and if you don't want to use a foundation, you can just skip that. You can use only concealer. Today I just want to use a foundation because I just want to show you guys how I wear foundation in more natural way. So I'm just going to use this uh, light to medium coverage foundation from Ravely. This has been my absolute favorite foundation since I got this product. It doesn't have overly shiny or glowy finish which is good for photography so I'm just going to apply this mostly center on my face because that's where I want some coverage. I feel like I don't need a coverage on the outer of my face so I'm just focusing on the area I want some coverage with a light amount of this foundation. So I just put a really light layer of foundation and I still want to cover my dark circle a little bit more using this high coverage concealer but I'm going to put a really thin layer of this product. So to get the thin layer of this product, I'm using this flat concealer brush and going to just gently pat the area I want to cover. And there is some like hyperpigmentation on my forehead and some redness under my nose so I'm just going to cover them as well. So I just finished to put a foundation and concealer and you can see how it looks very natural without looking cakey. So I just want to make sure everything look matte. So I'm just using this pressed powder but you can use a translucent powder, just any powder to mattify your look. I would say contouring is the most important part of makeup for photography. But also choosing a right contour powder is very important. Something really matte and more like a grayish color. For me, I found this shade from Tarte. It looks very natural on my skin tone and it doesn't look reddish or too warm on my face. So it's just perfect shade for me to create a fake shadow. So the area you place the brush in the first place will get the most intense shade as we are creating shadow to look more dimensional. I'm going to start off with applying under my cheekbones and then slowly spread more inward. 
just to make sure there is no harsh line so blending is everything so just keep blending until it looks very natural and soft I just finished to put a contour powder and I think blush shade is also very important to look very natural for photography so I think it'll be better to choose something peach or nude shade rather than too pinkish or too vibrant color more like a neutral shade or matching really well with your undertones I found this shade matches really well with my natural skin tone so I'm going to apply this powder blush on my cheek and going to blend until it looks very soft and seamless Now I'm moving on to highlighter. For highlighter, if it's too glittery or too shimmery, it's not gonna look natural at all. So I'm going to use a highlighter giving me really subtle glow on my face. I'm just going to use this Wet n Wild highlighting powder to get that glow on my face. But I'm just focusing more on high point my cheekbones, a little bit on my forehead and connect it to nose. So for eye makeup, I'm going to focus more on lashes rather than eyeshadow or liner. So I'm just going to do a little bit of smoky eye with brown shades. And I'm not going to use any glittery or shimmery eyeshadow. So I'm just going to use all matte shade today. I'm going to take this light brown shade to apply all over my lid first. And also I'm going to create a fake shadow at the end of my eyes to make them look wider. And then I'm taking mid-tone brown shade for a little bit more extra definition. I'm not applying over my crease but focus on the area where close to upper lash lines. And then I'm going to draw eyeliner with black eyeshadow. This is going to create like an illusion, like extend the length of my eyes. It's super flattering and easy way to draw eyeliner. So now I'm moving on to false lashes. I know it's so rare to see me wearing falsies in makeup video, but I think this time is very different because it's a makeup for photography. On a picture, when you wear only mascara, your lashes might look too natural. It's totally up to you. You don't have to apply a false lashes if you don't comfortable with it. Although I'm wearing falsies, I'm wearing very natural ones. And you can see the lines where it contacts your lashes look very natural and it's very thin and I'm gonna share my tips to make the false lashes look very natural so first you just cut them down in few pieces it can be three four or more so more pieces more natural look you could get but before I put these lashes on I cut my lashes a little bit to make sure that it blends really well with my natural lashes I'm going to place on my upper water lines so it's not going to on my lashes it's going to more like in my lashes to hide the lines and you can see how it looks very natural and blends really well with your natural lashes So I just finished to put my lashes, it took ages, but I think it's totally worth it. It looks very natural and I think it'll be great if I add more volume to blend my natural lashes with fake lashes really well. So I'm just going to use this um, mascara on my upper lashes as well as my lower lashes. To get more definition on my eyes, I'm going to tight line with black liquid eyeliner. So for eyebrow, I think it's very important to not to have any empty part of the brows because if there's any space, it's gonna look very obvious on a picture. So I'm just going to fill in my brows roughly with brow powder and then I'm going to draw light strokes on the empty part of my brows. For my lips, I'm going to use the shades mimic to my nature lip color. So for lip makeup, I'm going to start with lip pencil. I've been obsessed with using a lip pencil lately. I think it makes the look more finished and it's so easy to define my 
lip lines rather than using a lipstick and I've been really into this lip liner it glides really softly on my lips and the shade itself looks very natural so I think it goes really well with all the shades I have like pink beauty pink or peach pink any just natural lip color shade so I'm just going to draw lip lines first with this lip liner I'm not going to overdraw or anything I'm just going to follow my natural lip lines And I'm going to apply this neutral warm pink shine lipstick. It's just my lip swap better shade. And to make the shade a little bit more um, muted and more nudish, I'm going to add this lipstick, nudish lipstick again. This is a really high pigmented matte lipstick, so it's going to make the look more matte. So this is my graduation makeup look, self-graduation makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Actually, I feel like I finally graduated because I haven't felt anything. If you try this look or recreate this look, please tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!